The permanent modify function sends out the user supplied modified value every scan, at the beginning of the scan, or the end of the scan, depending on the settings you make. You can also choose to send the modify value out when the CPU goes to stop. With the variable table open, turn on monitoring. Select the variable table menu and choose trigger. In the trigger point section, if you put the bullet point next to the end of scan cycle, and in the trigger condition section, choose every cycle, the modify value will be sent out every scan at the end of the scan. You would choose this setting if you want to permanent modify outputs since they are written to at the end of the scan. Click OK to the trigger dialog. Currently, Q8.1 named L underscore Bay2 is false. Let's modify it to 1 or true. Q8.3 named L underscore Bay3 is also false. Let's modify it to true. Input 8.0 named LB is true. Let's modify it to zero or false. Now click the lightning bolt that does not have the one shot mark on it, since this is what you set the trigger for. You'll see a message telling you that with this modify function, you will be affecting the process permanently and asks you if you want to continue. Be aware though, that you must keep a communication connection to the PLC and the variable table must remain open for the modify function to continue. Click yes to the message. The lightning bolt mark appears next to each modified I.O. point. Notice that the two outputs have been changed from false to true. Even though both outputs are being written to from the code, they are being overwritten by this permanent modify. The input, however, did not change to false. This is because the modify is being sent out at the bottom of the scan, but the inputs are read in at the top of the scan. Click the modify button again to stop the permanent modify. Go back to the variable table menu and choose trigger. Move the bullet point to beginning of scan cycle and OK the trigger dialog. The modify values are still in the modify value column, so click the modify button again. Click yes to the permanent modify message. This time you see the input change to false because we are modifying the values at the beginning of the scan. The output values also stay true. Another possibility is to create a second variable table and put inputs in one table and outputs in the other table. Set the trigger to the input table to be at the beginning of the scan and the output table to be at the end of the scan. To see alternative methods to overriding I.O., also watch the video on forcing I.O.